many times people think of prayer as something you do religiously, and then they also think of worship as something you do. On Sunday, I'm going to worship God. But a big part of prayer or communication and relationship with God should also constantly include worship. And when you don't know what to say to God, it is, it's not that there's something wrong with you. You're not spiritual enough. You don't love him enough. Many times that it's just time to worship him. I, I worship him more than anything because I'm content. I know I'm in his hands. Whatever weapon formed against me that's going on in my life currently, I know won't prosper. I trust him. So that means I'm, I'm, not, I'm not needing to complain. That cuts off about 90% of some of your prayer time that you're having. That's not the right way to pray. In fact, that's a part of speaking words of death that you're not supposed to be doing. You're supposed to trust God. Declare when God is asking you to declare, like sometimes you need to take action against the attacks in your life instead of going and complaining to God about it. Do something about this. God says, I gave you authority. Declare and rest that I've got it under control. So that's how we should live our lives. We walk in authority when God calls us to, but it's not like we're having to, I command you to go devil, and you, you better get out of here, and you better stop with my fan, and you better. Simply declare. You don't need to over and over and over again. Trust. God's got it. There's in some sort of, I don't know, injustice happening to you, false accusation or something, something weird happening to you in your apartment or your workplace, something like that. Declare. Simple. This evil must stop. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I command this attack through this person must stop now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. And then begin to thank him and worship him. Thank you, Jesus, for protecting me. Thank you, Jesus, that you're my defender. Thank you, Jesus, that your hand's upon my life. Thank you, Jesus, that you're taking care of this situation. And that's it. You don't worry about it the rest of the day. You don't complain about it to other people. You don't complain about it to God. You don't pray it over and over again. God, stop it. Make it stop. Make it end, Lord. I pray and cry out to you. You rest. It's done. I declared simply. I trust God's got it. And now I'm going to continue doing what God called me to do and worship him.